Hello, today in this video we are going to discuss how to configure BI Publisher with APEC 5 uh, for PDF reporting and we are going to uh, deploy the BI Publisher with Apache Tomcat. We are not going to uh, install the BI Publisher as it should be according to Oracle but uh, we are going to do it uh, do the deployment of uh, BI Publisher in Apache Tomcat. So let's begin with it. To uh, provide the printing PDF printing facilities or email uh, or email facilities, we have to allow uh, uh, the schema Apache uh, Apex 5 uh, schema uh, to have a network ACL allowed. To do that, we'll have to execute some code. You know, as for Oracle 12C, the code is different, and for up to 11G, the code was different. Now let's see what was the code. See here's the uh, install. If you go through the installation procedure of Oracle Apex 5, this one is for Apex 5.1. Both are the same. If you go through the installation of uh, installation process of Oracle Apex 5, then in some place you will you will find a, po a a section where you have to. Uh, yeah, this one is the uh, section enabling network service in Oracle database 11g or later see this is the apex underscore zero five zero 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 this is the apex schema all that all the data are saved in here so you have to allow the SL database ACL for this schema and you know for uh, up to 11g the schema was like this you know grant connect privilege prior to database 12c and you know our database is 12c so this code will not work for our installation and this code should have been done if the database had been in 11g but we're not going to do this because our database is 12c what you will have to do is just copy the whole code and execute it in as csdba privilege and this is the code you see this is the code for 12c database okay so what we will have to do we will have to do nothing but just copy this code and execute in the sql command line so let's do it we have already copied the code here you know, see this one is for all the hosts and this one is for local host only local host only and this one is for all hosts in my sum of my installations i had to execute both of these uh, therefore we'll We'll execute both of these both of the codes in our database first this one this is the code we're going to execute to allow the apex schema in the acl okay so copied it and now run it we are logged in in the database in the sql plus as sys dba privilege as sys user uh, so this let's run it yes the operation is complete now we can do this now let's run this one also uh, in case it doesn't work so if you run both of these there will be no problem yes the data uh, our database part has been complete now now the environment is created to uh, for the apex to provide you pdf printing now we will use oracle apex uh, uh, oracles BI Publisher 10G. Since we are using this BI Publisher as a print server only, so we are going to use the uh, BI Publisher 10G here. Now, what you have you'll have to do is, you see, we have BI Publisher uh, downloaded here, and this is the uh, unzipped area. Now, you see, in the extracted folder. You see, there is a folder called manual. We are not using any installation. You see, this is the run installer. This is the standard installation procedure. But uh, this procedure uh, is not working for uh, Linux 6. It is only for Linux 5. But we are using here Linux 6.5. In that case, what you can do? You can install manually. You see, this is the manual folder. You just go there. And you see in the generic, you see generic, you you are, you have XMLP server dot war file. Now we will deploy it into our Apache web app folder. Let's do it. This is our Apache deployment. This is the Apache folder, and this is the web app folder. We'll do what we'll do is 
deploy xmlp server dot war file to web app folder now since the xmlp server dot war file is deployed we will have to restart the apache tomcat server yeah we are in the apache tomcat folder shut down and now start now apache has started now let's see if it is started yes apache has started now let's see if our deployment is working now what you will have to do in place of word yes you will have to write xmlp server xmlp server let's see what happens yes you see ba publisher has been deployed successfully now up and up to now uh, this is enough for uh, using it as a print server for apex deployment and we'll have to uh, configure a little bit in apex apex 2 now let's move to oracle apex now you see we have a report here on department yeah this is the department this is a classic report you see this is the classic report now you see you have a link here called download if you click here then csv will be downloaded now let's uh, uh, look a little bit closer in the properties you see if this is the region definition this is the region definition this is the report attributes and this is the print attributes this is very important you see report printing is currently not available there is no print server configured now we'll have to configure the print server to provide apex with the facility to print pdf reports what we'll have to do we'll have to log out from this web this workspace and we'll have to log into internal as admin so let's log in as internal workspace internal admin yes we are logged in now you can you have to configure the instances so click on manage instance instance setting now you see report printing go to the tab report printing here you see apache fop is by default selected or you can use REST data service, but I am using BA Publisher. Now, print server hosted. I can use localhost, but I am not using localhost here. 192.168.100.10. This is the IP of the, of the print server. Uh, if you have a print server, dedicated print server in, installed in any in, in your facility, then you can provide it here. Since this is the, uh, our database server, Apex, Apache, and BI Publisher are all installed in the same server. Uh, I can use localhost here, but I am not using localhost. I am just demonstrating how to uh, configure for the different server also. Now, here it is a very important. What is the port? 8888. You know, in a standard installation procedure, you will you would uh, find the port number different. For example, it would be 9704 or something like that. But here, we are using Apache Tomcat as the deployment server. So, our 
Apache Tomcat port is the port for Fritz server also. Now here it is very important. Now script is XML P server slash convert slash convert. This is very important. You have to remember this and you have to write down this one for ready reference and remember this one. This must be deployed xml p server slash convert okay now apply changes now let's move to that workspace again our administrative job is done sign out WSHR. Now let's run the report. Here's the report. Now we'll verify the properties of the report. You see in the report properties, in the print attributes, see that red colored marking is not here. So that means our print server is configured okay now you will do you, you see you can now enable enable report printing yes link print report header as it is it is a default and this is the link URL you can use this link in anywhere also now this is the properties you can do now we are enabling the PDF printing facilities and we will test it right now yes printing enable printing link is the print let's write his PDF PDF here okay report header report settings as it is we are not going to do anything or if I do it in line then in line if not then let's do it in line okay okay now output will be pdf or you can choose anything here we're re we are using pdf here and the report layout is default we are not talking about report layout that is a vast discussion we are not discussing this right now okay now apply changes now let's run the report. Now you see print PDF is here. Now we will click on print PDF. Let's see what happens. Yes, PDF output is here. This is the okay, this is the data in pdf format you can download this one okay let's download you see department in the now let's download yes so our configuration is successful so this is how you can configure oracle apex with BI publisher to uh, to use as a uh, report printing server and you can deploy BI publisher in Apache Tomcat manually so thank you for watching